Hi, I'm Ravenna Maselli on OWOW.radio. Terry Nunn from Berlin, in the flesh. How is it you can look so good after well, all these years? Wow, thank you very much. What's your secret, girl? <sighs> Passion, doing what I love. Mom always said if, if you're happy, you look better. Well, you and she's right. Radiating. Yeah, yeah, thank I, you. Okay, I haven't seen you since the 80s when I was in Boston and you played the Paradise. Yep. And um, actually, we were there and ZZ Top was in the audience. You had all these people in the audience. Do you that. remember uh, as well, this, was, this is what I remember about that, Rick Ocasek was there. Yes. That was our first meeting and he took us to his studio afterwards and we were just kids. We had no hits yet. We were just struggling trying to make it and, and there's Rick Ocasek and he's showing us the studio and we're just like, ah, you know, I was just absolutely starstruck. And I remember asking him, I said, Rick, what's it like to have an album that's like been in the charts for two years at that point? You know, the first album? He said, oh, it's nothing, you know, look at Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Almost a decade at that point. So yeah, he was just, it's just a tragedy that he's gone and it's yes. not okay with me. But That was synchro sound where he took you on Newberry Street. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not exactly by the paradise, but close enough. So what yeah. did he do for you? Well, Rick, when I did the solo album, wrote a song for the album and gave it to me to sing. Yeah, he was a great guy. What song you know? is that? It was called Fly By Night on the solo album. Yeah. All right. We might have to be spinning that. So now you're back with two original members in the band, yeah. three including you. Yeah. How did this all materialize? My partner for 13 years, John, he was getting a divorce and he called me because I had been through it. It was a long marriage for him, three kids, it was hard and he needed, he needed a friend. So he called me and then at the same time David Diamond called me because his partner of eight years left him, had an affair and left him. They had gotten a house and so we're all just kind of holding each other, you know, crying together. And then we got creative and we did some stuff and first stuff wasn't very good, but we kept playing around and then some record labels got interested and we recorded it and now we're, the album's out and <laughs> here we are. I, I did not see this coming. I had no idea I would ever play with them again. So but, you're back in business and yeah. what's the new album called? Transcendence. Yeah. So that kind of explains your state of mind with the band. Yeah, it does. It's a song about my mother, Transcendence, and, and what she told me it was like to pass on, because I asked her about a week before, and she told me, and she, she had a very unique perspective on it that I want to have, that she felt it was the most amazing experience she might ever have, and she described it as Transcendence. So yeah, it's, it was a very cool conversation. So you have this album now, but yeah. let's talk about beginnings and special Cleveland connection. How Cleveland helped you guys get launched. Cleveland, we will forever be grateful because when we were starting out trying to get anybody to hear us, Cleveland, you guys are the first to play us in the country. Other than our hometown, nobody was playing our kind of music and WMMS was absolutely integral to to this happening and in fact the head of WMMS came today bless his heart to see the band and say hello and I mean that kind of support a band never ever forgets that and with all that support about any memorable concert moments from being here coming through town last night people it, it was like the Beatles homecoming or something I mean you, you never know you know if people forget you because we haven't been here in a while or if if I don't know, we just don't know what to expect most of the time, and they, it was really incredible to play the House of Blues and have all those people there and s to support us. It's been you know 40 years. That's the anniversary. One more bit of nostalgia with the announcement that you know Tom Cruise is back in Top Gun too. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are thinking to take my breath away again. How does it feel to have a song like that that has stood the test of time and is so iconic for a particular period of time? I'm blown away by it too because you just don't know what songs will last and what won't and that song never ends. It just keeps going, you know, it keeps going into a movie or goes into a TV show or goes into a commercial or goes into and just, I don't, I, it, when I did it, 
I, I didn't even think I would get the job because we were working with Georgia Moroder on no, uh, no More Words and he got the job for Top Gun at the same time. And he tried all the big singers on it because we were nothing yet. And they didn't, the producers didn't like any of them. So he said, well, why don't you try Berlin? And they're up and coming and they said, all right, well, let's go, try them. So I thought, okay, I'll never get this job. So I'll just sing it the way I want to sing it. And they loved it. So I got the job. That's why you're here at the Rock Hall today. Oh, it's so exciting! I, I, ah! it, come on. This, how often does this happen? It, it, it was an invitation to present uh, artifacts from from Berlin's history to the museum to get an, an exhibit here. It's just such a huge deal, and it really means a lot. You know, just thank you. It's so special. Why? Are you kidding me? Look at this. It's a fucking museum, man. It's incredible, you know, to, to be a part of it, to be included. Who in here has inspired you? Oh, God, you know, it was great. Where we're going to play today, the garage, which just opened, they have some, on the wall, they have record albums, which is what we all did when we were kids. We put the record albums on the wall, and I just sat and looked at them on my bed. And there's a number of them that were on my wall. So it's just, you know, I started to cry looking at that. Fleetwood Mac, um, what else is up there? Uh, oh, uh, Gray Slick, Jefferson Airplane, Linda Ronstadt. You know, I mean, it's all right there. So, yeah. It's <laughs> and what are you presenting to them? <laughs> I'm presenting an outfit that I wore on American Bandstand when we first played it and they really liked that look and I'm so proud because I had issues with my outfits. I, I even was told by the band at one point that I should get a stylist because I need help. And this outfit I had put together myself and I came up with the whole idea and now it's gonna be in a museum. So that I, I wasn't totally stupid. <laughs> So, yes. it's been 40 years. You are eligible, Berlin, to be inducted into the Rock Hall. Oh, is it like a certain number of years? I think it's 25. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah, we're ready. So, hey, I'm giving you my Lucky Whammy Vibe Mojo 2020, baby. Thank you. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Oh, God. And what, what you did for Tom Cruise's career, <laughs> I think it was all about take my breath away. I don't think so, Ravana, but I appreciate the thought. <laughs> and you're, you're dropping names like Giorgio Moroder. Yeah. He was notoriously discerning. And for him to choose you guys, you had some stuff, and he recognized it early on. And even better, he said that Take My Breath Away was his best work. That was, wow. That was a big deal for us. It's great to have you back. It's great to have you here in the Rock Hall. And, and I'm thrilled that you're so thrilled that this is that meaningful for you. Oh God, yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for including me. As you have a new album now, out now, yeah. the challenges of getting music noticed now versus back then, you know, what, what's the biggest change you notice and, and what are you doing differently? It, there's ups and downs. The great thing is that artists have more control over our music now. So we have control over distribution, we have control over how we do it, we have control of who we partner with. And that's great. It's a lot easier to make music now. You know, I, we spent a three hundred thousand dollars on a record. You know, in a, in the early days. Now you can do it in your house, and it's just as good. It sounds just as sonically good. So, that's a great part of music for artists today. And yes, the hard part is getting it out there. But the good news is, we love to perform live, and that's the one best way to get the music out there at this point and get to different cities and. So, yeah, they can't replace us on stage yet. So, <laughs> that's good. Have you had a chance to tour around the Rock Hall today? Yeah, but not enough. I want to see so much, but I don't know if we're going to have time today because we're going to Central Park tomorrow. It's our last show of the, con of the uh, tour with OMD and the B-52s in Central Park. And that's the first time I know that we're playing there. Oh, my God. It's huge. From what you did get to see, anything jump out at you? Like here in the museum? I loved the Bowie stuff. 
I loved seeing the outfits and seeing his lyrics and seeing the videos and he was such a huge reason that we're here at all because without Bowie we wouldn't have had glam rock there would have been no Queen or Elton John he opened the door for that and they opened the door for us for us for a new wave to happen so David Bowie to me is the godfather of my career and that that stood up for me we well, certainly opened the door for other artists what would you what advice would you give artists following in your footsteps the gamble we took that paid off is to be diff not only good, because you have to be good, but to be unique. If you're unique, you have a longer career. You're irreplaceable. I, that's why I admire the B-52s, and, and we went on this tour with them, because they're unique. And it takes guts to be unique. If you can do that, then you can have real longevity. We're good? Like two, we got two minutes. Edward or anything from the hall? Thank you so much for your Thanks. time. Thanks. Great, great questions. Thank you.